comes to connecting jobs and people in the tri-state, the numbers don't look good. According to a report from the Brookings Institute, more than 75% of working age people in greater Cincinnati cannot reach a typical job in under 90 minutes if they use public transportation. 41% of the region's more than 1 million jobs are in neighborhoods without public transit service at all. Cincinnati Vice Mayor Roxanne Qualls says the finding point rather findings point to the need for a regional transit system like this. Not surprisingly, money has been the problem. In 2002, voters rejected by nearly a two to one margin, a half cent increase in Hamilton County sales tax that would have funded a regional light rail system, computer, uh, commuter rail lines and expanded bus routes, or maybe a streetcar. Cincinnati, as you know, is preparing to build a downtown streetcar line. Since 2006, the business courier has written more than 70 stories about the Cincinnati streetcar. But a blog item on our website late last month resulted in a reaction we haven't quite seen before at the courier. On June 22nd, we reported that the financing costs will add $46.5 million to this project. Now, it was the first time the city provided detailed estimates on financing costs for $64 million in streetcar bonds approved two years ago by city council. Well, that made it news for the business courier, and it made for some angry readers, some of them. Business Courier editor Rob Dahlmeyer joins us to tell us why they're angry. Rob, good to have you with us. Thank you. So this issue has been batted around by a lot of people. Why did the people who respond angrily do so? A couple reasons. I think, um, first of all, a, a, I think a pretty legitimate reason, or at least a legitimate um, different way to look at it than we did. Typically, and these, these readers, a lot of the people that called us are longtime readers, so you know we hate losing any subscribers and our group especially they've been with us for a long time so of course we listen close their, their issue was we don't add financing costs when we talk about you know if I tell you how much my home is worth or how much it would cost to buy a home we're not sticking the finance costs on there so they no. why would you do why would you do that for that would street? shock you if you did it just would. go to a closing Absolute, you'll absolutely. find out yeah. so their, their point was why would you add this to the streetcar cost just you're, you're just scaring people yeah. well we've done it before with the stadiums we felt it was very important to add financing costs reason being we're all paying for this Right. And it's money. It's, it's almost $50 million. We thought that was news. They disagreed, and they want, I think they wanted to be heard, and so they called, and a couple of them canceled their subs. And, and I get that. We, we hate to see people walk away because, again, we've done 70 no, stories. Wait a minute. They were yeah. mad because you reported what it was going to cost to finance this project? Yeah, they thought that it's just this is a very controversial issue, that the people that have been behind this for years are, frankly, mm -hmm. a lot of them are, and I get this, they're tired of yeah. the fight. It's signed law. Let's get going on it. We don't need to keep throwing up hurdles to have more people get upset about this. That was their that was their complaint. We're a newspaper. We're a media organization. Information is the key for us. We I understand agree. that people don't like a lot of it, though. But you know, we have to accept the fact that people were mad, and we just really were. I was just really surprised, which is why I wrote about it, that they were mad about information. Which yeah. you know, they're right. I've seen street streetcar projects in other cities, Denver, uh, San Diego. They're they're very successful. The difference with ours is it doesn't really go anywhere. No, that's true. Um, that's a very good point. And that's yeah. I think what a lot of people are, are upset about. Yeah. I will say though that if and I've been doing this a lot lately, going from our offices, walking from our offices downtown in the business district up to Finley Market. Uh, okay. Because that whole area with Washington Park and all the development, it's just amazing. And the streetcar would go through there. So I, there are many reasons, I think, coming to ride the streetcar, but you're right. It's, there, there's nothing you can really point to and say, oh, good, streetcar's here so I can get there. Not yeah. quite yet, but it all has to come together, uh, and it all forms sort of a cohesive whole, and that's, that's their complaint. Has to start somewhere. Absolutely. All right, Rob, thank you.